In other words, for Erev, an Erev had Chumim, according to Rashi, Erev had Seris as well. You go ahead and you, you, uh, you have to put away Mos and Shtei Sudas. You have to put food for Shtei Sudas. I'm discussing the different, the different foods that you can go ahead and use. We're up to, so we're up to the bottom of Chof Ches Amid Beis. The bottom of Chof Ches Amid Beis, Gufa, about six lines up. Gufa, Amr of Yudam Rav. A kashais, a kish kishais, or which are hops, the chazis that was green kern, that was green unripened kernels. Ma arvim behem, you can go ahead and use them for an eriv again eriv the chumin. Umevorch and aleim boy priyadama, and the bracha you make on them is boy priyadama, right? And now the gemara wants to know kishas bekama, how much do you have to put away of hops to go ahead and and for for mazon she sudais? Kedam Rabbi Chiel kimale hayad, like mala yad. The Chanami Kamalayat. Rabbi Chil is going to say soon regarding some other food stuff. The Shir is Kamalayat. Hu Adin Kishay says Hamz is Kamalayat. Chaz is Pekama. What about this green grain? So I'm a Rabbi Rav Tuvia by Yitzchak. I'm a Rab Kamalay Oizalisa the Ikri, like the a bundle of a of a farmer. They bundle their their their, their vegetables together. That's the Shir. Now, guys, mind you. It doesn't mean you need two sudas worth of hops. No one in the, in the world eats hops two sudas. It means in a suda, how much hops would you normally consume for two suda? So let's say, let's say it, it, uh, it's a six pack, right? It depends. Not a fair line. Anyway, uh, a six pack would be for certain people, but most most Jews do not eat so much hops at, at beer beer drinkers. But I'm saying like, so these are shiurim of that particular food that you would use. For, for two sudas. It doesn't mean your whole suda consists of hops. It doesn't mean your whole sudas consists of green grain, right? It means how much normally you would eat in, in, in that scenario. Kalia seems to be an asap that gets hard. It's a hard thing, Kalia. Now, how, how can you go ahead and, and, and use Kalia to be, um, or, um, make an Arab? It means the Yerik that's associated with Kalia. Kalia seems to be something that gets hard. And, and, and and the yarka of that you could use for Muslim shtei sudas for the erev. Am Rabbi Chil Kamal Yad. There it is. That that and the yarka the kal bekama. Am Rabbi Chil Kamal Yad. That's where Rabbi Chil said his tin that we refer back to with the kishrois is also Kamal Yad. Rabbi Yimri and Nafik the Kriyasur. Yimri had 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 uh, holdings in the boondocks in the villages. He went out to go ahead and see, and they took advantage. And one minute they asked him, "Ma'u la'ariv the pool and lachen? Can you use pool and lachen, which are which are um, Beans that are moist, can you use them at for an Arif? So Loi Havi Biyad Bey, Rav Yirmi did not know. He asked him, Josh, when he came to the base Medrash, Omule, they told him, Hachi Yom Rav Yanai, Ma'arvim Bipul and Lachin, you can go ahead and use them as the food stuff for an Arif. They're going to ask the Kama, and what is the share of Pul and Lachim, of, of moist beans? On Rav Yichil, Kimole Hayad, the share again of Kimole Hayad, which, which would be, again, we, we had this before. Of course, of course. The Amr of Hamnuna, Ma'arvin Bitardin, Chayin. You could use raw beets. You can use raw beets. I'm afraid Gamari, and you could use raw beets. The Amr of Chista, Silk of Chaya, Kotel. Raw beets will kill you. So Kotel Gavra Chaya, right? Kotel Gavra Chaya. It'll kill a live person. So how in the world are you able to go ahead and use that as an Arif? And for the Gamara, you know what's going to kill you? Not the raw beet. The raw beet you could eat, but if it's dangerous, if you cook it, but you don't cook it fully, that'll kill you. But a raw beet won't, and therefore a raw beet is is a, is, a, is acceptable for a while for making an error. I think the army the others say we're going to we're going to come to the same same conclusion just in a different way. You You can't go ahead and make an error out of raw beets. Again, this is opposed to the previous one that said you could. Watch how we change gears, guys. So we see people eating, they don't die. So it's more awesome over there. When's it going to kill you? The bishel below bishel. But if it's raw, then you could eat it. So when it said that you can't make it with raw, that's speaking about what? We're speaking about, uh, we're speaking about where it's half cooked. But it's raw, then you, you can eat it and use it for an error. Now, I'm Rav Chista. It's interesting to know Rav Chista is always giving life skill lessons. We, we had earlier in, in, in Shabbos, in Dafkof Mem, and, and uh, discusses health issues, what you should do 
uh, do this, do that, do this, do that. Rav Chista seemed to be, it's very interesting, this was seemed to be one of his callings. And so the Ma'amoy Rav Chista was, we had a Gemara in Daf Pei Beis in Shabbos that a certain Rafuna, I think his, his son went to Rav Chista and he said, it's, it's a waste of my time, he's not telling us anything. And, then, and he asked him, what did he tell you? And he said, he told you how to go to the bathroom. Said, Excuse me, he told you how to go to the bathroom. So he goes, it's not a waste of time. We, we had that same order at that time. It's not, it's not, a, it's not a waste of time. Right? Teaching, teaching those in Yanam. Says the Gemara Vaita. So Rav Chista, Tavshil, Amar Rav Chista, Tavshil Shad Tradin, Yafal Uleiv. You have a good cooked uh, beet dish. It's good for your heart. The Toiv Leinayim, it's good for your eyes. The Kolshkein Levinayim, it's good for your digestive tract. Amar Abaya, however, the Stavka, who the Yosef Abi Tafi, it's well cooked. The Ovid, and the sound you hear is Tuch Tuch. If you ever, I don't know, you ever, there seems to be like this thing that men like to check the challen. They like to go, they like to check the challen. You know what I'm talking about? They, for some reason, of all the foods, they don't check this, they don't check that. I mean, not a Brahmi wine, but no, people that are people that are not so into food, but they check the challen. If you can check the challen and you see there's no bubbles, it's showing this good. It's no good if there's no bubbles. But if you see that bubbly, that sound that makes that little tuch tuch sound, then you know in the morning it's going to be very, very good. Okay? So the same thing with with, with, with beats. You have a beat making this, this sound the, of tuch tuch, you know it's going to be excellent. Amar Rava says Rava, Harani ki ben azai b'shuki teveria. I'm like ben azai in the streets of teveria. Says Rashi. Beautiful Rashi, guys. Harani ki ben azai b'shuki teveria. Yuma b'dicha havi leila Rava. Rava was having a great day. He was to- totally clear. For Amar lehu le talmida, when he told his talmidim, hashta tzili daiti, my das is totally sale, it's clear. And I'm prepared to answer with, with sharpness the whole anything you ask me. similar to Ben Azai, the Tana Ben Azai. So he was he went ahead and he dashed in the Shuki Tveria. There was no one as great as Ben Azai. There's no one who up who mountains like Ben Azai. But he would say, he was accustomed to say, all Chacham in front of me. Are like garlic, uh, the leaves of garlic. Put them in a karech as that, except this karech, that's Rabbi Akiva. So, in other words, so just as Ben Azai was clear and was like a horim, was fantastic uh, orator and, and, and clarity of, of, of Taira, so to what? So to uh, Rabbi felt he was having a day that was very, very clear. And Rabbi was having a very clear day, and he, he said he asked me any question. Now, what question you'd expect? You expect some deep lumdis, some, de- some shot that. De- Right, listen to the question he was asked. Amalhum Rabbana a certain Rabbana said to him, Lerava, Tapuchim Akama. How much apple do you need for a lot for an Arab? Not the question you think you'd be getting, right? How, uh, how much? How much would you get for what for this uh an apple? Now, this is not a regular apple because a regular apple is a food. There's no shiloh by a regular apple. It must have been some inferior apple. But regular apple, as Robert says. Do you go ahead and use tapuchim apples for an eriv? Now we're speaking about a normal, a normal apple. Of course, he uses it for eriv. Rava wouldn't be indignant. Rava wouldn't say what he's talking about. Ella must be some type of apple that is not so what, not so eaten so readily. So, so, so it says Rava, Do you in fact go ahead and make an eriv out of tapuchim? Says Why not? For Tanan, we learned in the Mishnah, Kolo oichlim mitstarf and lipsolas adibia. Now the luck is that that food, in fact, cannot be metama adam. An adam can only be metama between from an avatoma, right? The, an avatoma can be metama adam bekelim. Food cannot be metama adam. However, the rabbanon made a decree for for kahanim. If they're eating puzzles of food that they should go in nizer to make sure they're not metama their truma, the food that's tummy would go ahead and be metama them to be metama truma. So again, it's an extra an extra fence that the Torah put around. Kahanim to be nizer in eating their truma b'tayra, that tree uh, uh, truma b'tayra, and this is what they say so said. If you go ahead and the share of what of of that will passel the goof to each truma will be chazi pras half of a loaf of bread. Who be mazon shtei suvdois leiriv and and all food all food all food can be mitzdarif mazon shtei shtei suvdois leiriv pashtas all food including apples. Who chebeitzel letamei tumas oichlin and all food can be mit, go, go ahead to the share of of food that can be metama and transmit tuma is a beitza. Now, so so lechayra, what was was rabbis? What was rabbis? What was his big shaila? But 
But why not? But now you see that what? Any food can go ahead and be used to say sudas for an Arab. So what was he so in the spoil about? But nobody, what, what, what's the big spritz? He lame him, the funny, but in other words, what are you going to say? For kolo oichlin, all food, mash me even apples, but honey, b'nei achilin, inu and apples are edible, the arm rabbi yachnon, ain't lamid him in a kolis. We began this, this peric, so just because kol oichlin, it doesn't necessarily mean each and every food. So maybe what? Apples are yaitzim in a klal. So what's the cash on Rabbah's wonderment? Says Rabbah, can you go ahead and, and make an air out of apples? Fred the Gemara, what's, what's Rabbah wondering about? It says all food you could use. Says the Gemara, no, all food doesn't mean all. So Rabbi Yachlan, ain't la midim in a klal. So you don't learn from the klal of kol. So it's, it's not so clear. But and even when you say accept that, nonetheless, why are we going to say that? You don't learn from it. Elamishum diktani uva mazim shtei sudos leeriv ukebeitza letami to masayichlin. Ah, so now we added a new wrinkle. Not only is it started for mazim shtei sudos and the eriv, but the share of kebeitza letami to masayichlin. Now focusing not on the foot fact that it's a food, focusing on the fact that it's letami to masayichlin. Bahani nami and apples bnei tumuye tuma oichlin inu. They are bnei tumuye now. So once we can ascertain that the makabel tuma the share of the beitza, we also know that what they can be mitstarif um, to be the shtei sudai. So again, Rava Rava is having a very clear day. Rava says, "Ask me any kasha." They go ahead and they say, "Listen, listen, what's the din of apples?" Says Rava, "You couldn't use apples." Fred the Gemara, what do you mean? Why can't you use apples? Why, why do you use the spoil? You can't use apples. It says all foods mitzarev. Says the Gemara, that's not, that's not a kasha. All is what? Labdafka, right? Ain't let me do in a klolis. Oh, but what does the latter part say? The latter part says something that is dafka. It says all food stuff can go ahead, what? And be mitzarev for, for Muslim Shay Sudois. And in addition, be makabal tumma. One second. Food, if apples are makabal tumma. So if apples are makabal tumma, we have the karelli, the makabal tumma. So now we have a cash and rubber. Rubber, so why were you, why were you wondering why? Of course it could. Uh, so now we've ascertained that apples, in fact, what can, can be used. And the Gemara asked immediately, Vakama, so how much apples do you need? How much apples do you need to go for Muslim Shay Sudais? Amr of Nachmin, Tapuchim Bekav. The Kav is four legging. Four legging, so it's a large amount. You need four apples. Mesive, I'll ask you a question. And now we're speaking about guys, my Sa'ani. Okay, let's a good idea. We know that the third and sixth year of a Mysa, of a Shemitah cycle, in lieu of my Sha'ani, you give my Sa'ani. Now, what's the shear of my Sa'ani? Look at Rashi, guys, from Shimon Alaza. The Mishnah, the, the Bryce we're about to recite is speaking about a person who has a lot of produce on his threshing floor. And the aniyim are gathered to get their tithes. The ka'amar ain poicha ain poicha sinla ani begayrin a high share. The share we're about to see in the Gemara, you cannot give less than that to an ani. So if they show up, the ani shows that at the soup kitchen. This is the minimal amount you can give them. The chsiv, what does it say? The nasata la levi la ger la yasim la mana, and you should give to the levi the ger the yasim la mana. These are people who are who need. When it says the nasata, you should give. Who bought some hachi less than the shiurim we're about to learn, fellas? Loi havi nesina. That's not. It says vinasata, and less than this is not considered vinasata. It's not considered nesina. The shear we're about to learn is the shear of nesina. So, and from there we're going to go ahead and ask a question on what on apples. You're telling me the shear of apples is what is a kav? I'll show you from my sa'ani. It's not that much. That's going to be the kasha. So we're asking from the share that you're given honey from my honey to the share of an Arab. And that's going to go ahead and, the, and ask, how come you have to give so many apples by a by an Arab? Mesi Vera Shimon Allah Zoyner. Uchla Tavlin. Uchla is is a is an eighth of a liter. That's the for spices. For litra yerek, for a yerek, you give a full litra. For asura agoizim, and and ten nuts, the chamisha forsaken, and five peaches. Two pomegranates, and one esrig. So these are the minimal share of these particular fruits and spices you would give to the ani who's coming to collect. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you have a lot. If you have a lot. Only if you have a lot. 
Omar, listen to this name. It's the only time I ever saw it in the Shas. Omar Gursik Bar Dari Mishmei Derav Menashe Ben Shaguvli Mishmei Derav said Gursik, the son of Dari, in the name of Rav Menashe, in the name of Rav Menashe Bar Shaguvli, in the name of Rav. The Chain Le'erif. That's these things are Le'erif. Now, Vahani Nami Lahavi Kerf Asaken. So just like fellas, you can give five peaches, so you should give five apples. So why do you need four ligand, which is so much? You should be able to go ahead. So what are we asking? For my Sa'oni, where it says five peaches, let's correlate peaches and apples, just like five peaches does the job by my Sa'oni, five apples should do the job by Erev. Why do you have to give what? A half, which is much more. And for the Gemara, I'll tell you why. Honey, peaches, chashivi. Peaches are chashiv. But honey, loy chashivi. And apples are not so choshev. Peaches are choshev, and apples are not so choshev. So in other words, when you come to eat a meal, you're going to eat the kinua chasuda, you're going to eat peaches. And you don't eat so many because it's a choshev maichel. You're not going to get so many peaches. Whereas apples is a dime a dozen, probably less, right? So therefore, you need more apples to for modern shtei sudas. Um, Rabbi Yosef, now, this, this gursik that Rabbi Nasha said on this brice of maisa'oni, so I'm Rav Yosef. Shorale Mare, Kodesh Baruch Hu should forgive forgive Rav Menashe Bar Shugvli, right? Uh, well, I should give him for misquoting me. He was misquoting. He was misquoting Rav Yosef who taught him this. He learned this on a, the price of my son, he fellas, but he stated it really on on something else. He stated it on a Mishnah. So he said, I know I'm Risa Nelly on a son. I taught him this uh, this dialogue of uh, about an Arab on a Mishnah for who for who Amr Abraisa. And he just said it on the brisa that we just spoke about, that brisa of the peaches was the brisa. So why did he learn this, this kasha on this? We should, this chen le'erev, that he learned it on, on this thing. He should have learned it on the Mishnah, not the brisa. Did not. Here's the Mishnah I taught it them on. Ein poi chasin le'oni, begoyerin. You can't give the oni less. Mechatsi kav chitin, less than here for kav chitin. The kav soirin, a full kav of, of barley. If me oima, chatsi kav soirin, a here for kav soirin. The kav chetzi kusmin and a kav chetzi of spelt, the kav gregris and a kav of figs, dried figs, or a mana de velo or a mana of, of, of dates, and we keep a pras here for mana, the chatzi, the chatzi like yayin, a here for like of yayin, and we keep a revias a quarter of like of yayin, revias shemen of a quarter of a like shemen, and we keep a shminus an eighth of, 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 of a like of, of shemen, the shar kola peris, and all other peris, including. Apples and peaches and whatnot. Amar Rav Shol, what's the amount? Kedeshi Yimkarein that you can buy them. The Yikach Ben Mazen Shtei Sudas you could sell them, sell them, and go ahead and purchase Mazen Shtei Sudas. For Amar Rav and Rav said on this, this is what I thought. This is what I taught Rav Rav Menashe. The Chayin Le'Erev. Okay, so the, the same thing by an Erev. So he was upset that instead of Quoting the Vchein Le'erev on this Mishnah, he quoted on the Brisa. Now, Fred the Gemara, for all intents and purposes, there's no, there's no tremendous difference over here. In both cases, it's Mosh and Shtei Sudais. So, Umay Ulmei Dahach Mehai, why was Rabbi Yosef more makbid to say on the Mishnah rather than the Brisa? Ilem and Mishram de Kotani Bahach Tavlin, because in the Brisa he said Tavlin, that Vchein Le'erev meaning you can use Tavlin for an Erev, the Tavlin Lavan Echilin, and when spice is not something you could eat. And therefore, the words v'chein le'erev would not apply to the brisa in the Mishnah. We didn't mention spices in the brisa. We began with an uchla of tavlin, and an uchla of tavlin. If you're going to say it can't be used, so you would be misquoting me incorrect, correctly, misquoting me on halacha. That's not true. No one eats wheat. No one eats barley. Yet, yet you have to hear. So you see, that can't be the reason. In the Mishnah, we said, Chit and the Siren. They're the same things what, as spices. They're not eaten raw. So the Chayra, if that's his problem, you had the same problem in the Mishnah as you did in the Brisa. El Mishum the Tani Chatsi Log Yayin. He only knew the Chatsi Log of Yayin. For Omar Rav, Ma'arvin Bishtei Revia Shal Yayin. And Rav said, you go ahead and you make an Erev out of two Revias of Yayin. Now, two Revias is a Chatsi Log, guys. Two quarters is a half. So, Shmami no, Kiyom Arav, Vechim Le'erev, Ahamas Tishon Kama, Shmami no, Pirish. D. 
there isn't any nafkamina in halacha. He didn't say anything that could be misconstrued. However, it's more meduyik, it's more exact, that Rav said his words on the Mishnah than the Brisa. The Brisa is supposition that Rav said the Le'erev. By the Mishnah, it's stated openly. How is it stated? Ra- <laughs> the Mishnah said that, you know the amount of wine you need for Shtei Sudois? It's Chatsi Loig. That's what it says. Rav mentioned in another arena, V'chein Le'erev, Tu Revius. Tu Revius is Chatsi Loig. Therefore, he was wanted, the, I taught it to you on this Mishnah, because Rav's statement is much more synonymous. It fits well by the Brisa. It's not, it, you're, just, you're just applying it and saying so too. It makes sense that the Dinah Zahirim, but it's certainly more exact and more correct on the Mishnah. And that's what Rabbi Yossi was, was upset. But not how luckily that there's any Nafkamina. Okay, so so far again, what we've been discussing today, we've discussed the share of foodstuff, say Sudais for uh, Erev Tchumim. Yes. The amount, the amount that you, the amount, in other words, how much would a person that you could sell? Right, so, so in that case, what's good? You have to eat so something. You, you, have to eat, you, have to eat, you have to eat something. You have to, I don't understand. You, have, you need to be, you could be a, you're a kind of Schweitzer with $20. No, listen, I know what you're saying. I'm going to say it again. Watch. You're, you're speaking about taking food, right. and by putting the food there, you're saying, this is my place of Shabbos. If you put $20 there, you're not saying anything. There's no food there. This, today, what you could sell is just telling us the, um, how do you ascertain the amount of food that has to be there. That's the amount you could sell for Tusuda. So uh, let, let's say you go, to, you go to the pomegranate, right, for example, and you buy a pomegranate for $5. So that, oh. So if that's the amount for two sudas, because you, no one can afford it. I'm saying that, that type of thing. But not money you can't use. You can't use money. Guys, good? Not, not a difficult Gemara. Not a difficult Gemara. Okay, very good. In other words, you, 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 need, you need two Meichalim, and you need a Suda from one and a Suda from the other. But not that you need the exact amount. In other words, I can get to two in a multiple of ways. I can get there one and one. I can get there one and a half and a half. I can get there you know, one and two-thirds and a third. As long as they add up to two, it works. It doesn't have to be exact. Even in what if it's a half, a third, or a quarter. Kufa, we mentioned previously. You can go ahead and make an Arab out of a chatzi loig, two revias of yayin. Do you need so much wine? Yayin, the share of yayin is that you would dip it in. Now, you're certainly not dipping it in in, in a chatzi loig. Chaimitz, they live a bazaitsim, the shear to go ahead and be taivo olives. Ubit Salem, the shear of onions, they lechel behem, stay sudais. So the chaira, you see, you don't need, it's enough to dip in. You don't need two chatsi loig. And if you want to hustle by the dip, it's speaking about bechamrim and vashla, it's speaking about cooked wine. They used to not eat, drink cooked wine. They would, they would use it as a dip. Regular wine was, was, was uh, diluted, and they would three, three pots of water to one pot wine. Going back, Omar always means going back over the Baisa. Omar, we're going back over the Baisa. It says, what's the share of what of, what's the share of Chaim? It's the table boy. It's the share of what of, of dipping in. Omar of Gidl, Omar of, little boy, Mosin, Shtei Suda, Shal Yerek. Vegetables, the vegetables are used, you use Chaim, as what, well, as, as, as a vegetable dip. Ikud the army, Omar of Gidl, Omar of, Yerek, Hanechel, Bishtei Suda. So the Yerek that could be eaten by, by, by the two Sudas. But other foods, are being served, then less chaimitz is needed. Only, only you need a lot of chaimitz for the, a yerik that's eaten mat in two sudas. But other ones, you, you, it's less. Amamar, zeisim ubit seilim, what's the share for two sudas of olives and onions? They lechel min mazen shei sudas. Fred the Gemara, ubit seilim imar, and can you include onions in the Ariv? In the Vatanya, Amrav Shem ben Alaza, Hamacha Shavas Rebbe Meya, Bida Adiska. Rebbe Meya took residence. 
Shabbos and a plain kulad diska, Ubaad the mecha lefanov, Amalei Rebbe, a rafti to v'tzelim, right, letivin. I went ahead and I, I set up an Erev Tchumim using onions to be able to go to the town called Tivin. But Yeshiv Rebmeya ba'arba amishaloi. Rebbe Meya said, you're stuck. Tell us the Allah, guys, if you walk out of Tchum Shabbos, you can't walk out of your four Amis. If you walk out of Tchum, that's it, you're stuck. Four Amis. He said he used as an Erev onions and he made him stuck in four Amis. So you see that you can't use onions as an Erev. When he made him stuck, he went out of the Tchum, he said he's stuck within that area. So obviously you can't use that. So, so uh, Shaloi, like Hasha. So it's schwer. Can you not with onions? If you're speaking about leaves, then you can't go ahead and make that as an Erev. And that's where Rebbe said the guy's stuck. Be mois if using the bulbs, if using the olive bulb, the, the onion bulb itself, that in fact you could make an error. The Tanya, Ach Obatzel, the Hishkim, a person eats onions and gets up, or Mason he dies, right? We don't say why he died. We know he died because he ate onions. Bama Shmuel, Shmuel was a famous doctor. So he eat onion leaves. Onion leaves will do you in. I will be mois, but if he's chewing on a raw onion, less lumbar. Right? As a matter of fact, if you want an onion, you got to be pretty healthy. No one's going to familiar you, right? You don't have to worry about corona or anything. You to, you'll, you'll, you'll be safe. Like We used to have guys in Sherry eat garlic. They, they were very healthy people. We didn't have to worry about them. As a matter of fact, we still have people in Sherry eat garlic. And then Baruch Hashem, for one of my positives, corona, I don't have to smell it every night. Now, Uba Olam Nami, and Olam as well. Nami Le Amarin leaves as well. That also, you don't have to worry. Ella, Deloy. It's still zirsa, right? It didn't grow a zeris. It didn't grow a uh, half of a. It didn't grow a three tfachim. Avala butzel zirsa less than above. It grows a three tfachim. Then you don't have to worry about about the uh, the onion leaf itself. Uh, so a little more halachas about onions. I'm not papa. Loyamarn ella the loy ishti shichra. You don't have to. If you, you have to worry if you don't drink beer. Avala ishti shichra less than above. So Kenny Kenny Miller's not here. If Kenny Miller was on here, he would tell you. That Rapapa was a beer merchant. So again, so, <laughs> the Papa, we used to call him Papa Weiser, right? Papa, that's the way to remember it. He was a beer merchant. And he he's he's going ahead and he is advertising his trade. If you go ahead and drink beer, you don't have to worry even about onions. <laughs> My beer will take care of eating onion leaves. Right? <laughs> right? Onion rings. Right? Yeah, yeah. Onion, yeah, pizza onion rings, right? Ishti Sheikh or less than you shouldn't eat it because of nachash shaboy. What, what does nachash shaboy mean? That that Rashi says eres saraf a butzel. The eres, the, the 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 venom of the snake is in the what is in the butzel. He ate chatzis butzel v'chatzis butzel v'chatzis nachash. If it wasn't for Rashi, I would have said he took a bite and he ended up with half a nachash. I would have said that, you know, like, you know, they say the worst thing, what is that? The worst thing about finding a worm in an apple is a half a worm, right? So if it wasn't for Rashi, I would say that's a shot, you know? That, 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 that's what he ended up with. Anyway, Pelopachas, he got sick. The Rav Kanina got sick. And the Natalomas, he was going to die. Well, Piksha Chavir Rachim, they daven for him. I love the Choya, and he lived with Mesha Shotz Michlo because they needed him. Okay. Amr of Zaira, Amr Shmuel. Shechem arvin boy, shecha beer, you can use it as an Erev, one of the foods, who pois less a mikvah, right? And the Bishlesha Loigan. Okay, now Lacha's like this outside, guys. I, I think you, this is a well known Lacha. I just has it just in case this someone doesn't know it. Uh, a mikvah, once it's a mikvah, it's a mikvah. You have 40 saw rainwater, it's a mikvah. That's my, my, when they make me voice, once it's an existing mikvah, they allow Mayim Shuvim in the mikvah. They turn on pipes, the water goes in. And it's constantly, it's constantly, you know, you, you're constantly being, the mikvah is kosher, machmas, the original conscious of the mikvah. The problem of my shuvim is when you don't have 40 sa, you're a quart short. And now my shuvim falls in, it's going to pass all the mikvah. Beer, which by and large is water, if you have, falls into a mikvah, that's a quart short. That's not mem sa, not 40 sa. Remember, we saw in, in one, one by three. That's, that's the 40 sa. So in that scenario, then uh, it's going to pass the mikvah. Because why? Because it, it's, it's considered mayim shubim. It's considered water. Maskal Rav Kahana, Pshita. 
What are you telling me? Of course, it's water. What's the difference between paint water, water that's colored, and 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 uh, beer? In both cases, they're predominantly made of water, and therefore they pass a mikvah that's not forty saw. The non rebbeisi omer made seva poisonous a mikvah the shloishes lugim paint water water that you know water would die. So I mean, no, this is chiddush. I mean, chasam mayed it seva mikvah. It's called water of of paint, water of dye, but it has the shame maya. Hacha by beer shikri ichi. It's called beer. It's not called it's not called water hops. Right? We don't call it water hops. We call it beer. So therefore, I would say that it doesn't pass. So kamash one, kamash one that what we say that it passes. Who become an Arab? And how much beer do you need to make an Arab? So Savar of Acha Brei of Yosef Kamele of Yosef Lameimar. He held to say, "Bitarin Rivoyan." Now, let, let's. This Gemara is confusing. So listen up. There's two shiurim over here, Ketelis. There is the Ravius of a loig, and there's the Ravius of a kav. Now, if a kav is four loigin, then the Ravius of a kav is one loig. When you drink a Ravius of wine. You're drinking a revius of a leg. You're not drinking a full leg. You're drinking a quarter of a leg. If you're drinking a revius of a calf, you're drinking a full leg because there are four legs in, in, in a calf. Okay? So now we, it's going to be interchanged, the two. Hopefully, we won't get too confused. Hopefully, we won't get too confused. So let's begin. Ubekamam Arvin, Sover Vachabri, the Vesif Tamid, the Vesif Lameimar, Bitoyin Revoyin. Two quarters of a kav, or two loigen. Shechra, you know, it's a lot of beer. Kid it nan. Hamaytzi. Now we're going to discuss the shiurim of a for certain food stuff that we learned in Masech the Shabbos. How much do we have to take out the mechayev? Hamaytzi yayin. What's the shir? Kedai mezigas akois. Someone who takes a yayin, what's the shir? The amount to go ahead and and receive the dilution of of water. The tani Allah, kedai mezigas kois yafa. My kois yafa. Kaisel bracha. Ram of Nachman, Amar Rab Ravua. Kaisel bracha. Tzaruch sheyehei ba. Roiva revius. It's got to be a quarter of a of of. of it's a quarter of a quarter. It's a quarter of a loig. Kedeshim zgenu v'yamel revius. In order that it should be, go ahead, what and stand on a revius of water. Uchad the Rava, Amar Rava. Ochamad loidari al adchad til samaya. Any wine that is not able to stand up to three parts water. So in other words, and you can have a quarter of wine and and three quarters of water. Right, lav chamru. That's not wine. The ketoni sefer, the shar kol amashkin, any other mashkin besides wine, like beer, beravias. That's what a quarter of a kav, which is a which is a full a, a full leg. The chala shoifkin beravias, and anything anything you throw out, any liquid that you throw out, beravias. Now midahosim ad chad arba, the ratio guys of beer to wine is four to one. It's the ratio of it, it, one's a quarter of a leg and one's a full leg, right? Guys, one's a full leg. A quarter of a cup is a full leg of beer. Wine is a quarter of a leg. So the ratio of wine to beer is four to one ratio. You have, you have a four to one ratio. So now, when the ratio of wine to beer is four to one, hachanami al chad arba. So to over here by what? By, by, by uh, what Rav said, when he said yayin, it must be what? Two times a quarter, which is a half a leg. So what do we want to do? We want to go ahead and prove from this brisa that Rav the shear of 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 beer, since by yayin Rav said it's a chazi leg, it must be beer, must be two legin. Because again, guys, it's a four to one ratio. Four times a, four times a half is two. One more time, we want to go ahead and prove the shita. That there are two like that the share of beer is two, two ligand. How are we ascertaining that by comparing it to wine? We've ascertained that the sheer ratio of wine to beer is four to one. Four four times beer is four times the one. Now we know by yayin is chazi loig. That's a, a half. So four times a half is two. So we can prove that lot at the share of air of a beer is two. Pasha. That's a raya. Belohi, it's no raya. Hasam by Hitsa, who the butts of Yahaki like Hashib. Over there, you need to take out so much beer. Because less than that, it's not Hashib. Avul Hacha, but the Ian Ariv, lay oven inchi the Shasi Kasib, Safra, lay. 
the oven in the like kama, the oven in she the shasa kasa the safra, the kasa the safra. They drink a quarter of a leg in the morning and a quarter of a leg in the afternoon. So therefore, it's not a good sushtel. By by yayin, by by kaitsa. We were makbid gomer. We went through prokim prokim. It has to be a, a, a chashiv as to what you're taking out. A per, guys, remember a, a zera, a person won't take out more than X amount of seeds because it's not chashiv, he won't bother. That might ring a bell. So by, by Shabbos, the whole theme is what's the share of a dava chashiv? Regardless of being able to eat it. The answer by is two legging of, two legging of a beer. What's the share by what? By, 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 uh, Eriv, what you can eat. And people usually eat, a, they drink in the morning a quarter of a leg of, a quarter of a quarter of a leg, and a quarter of a leg in the evening, a total half a leg, not two leg. So therefore, all we're saying is there's no raya from Aitza to Eriv, because Aitza is Shelechud and Eriv is Shelechud. How are we doing so far? We're good? Okay, Baruch Hashem. Nice Gemara. Says Gemara Vaita. Tomorrow in Bekama. Hmm? Yeah, this is Avram, Avram Yawami's favorite Gemara. He, all of a sudden, he, 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 you got to see how focused he is, guys. So the, what, did you make beer, Avrami? You've made, you made beer in the past? <laughs> we don't believe that. Tomorrow in Bekama. <laughs> Tomorrow the camera, pickles, ginger, tomatoes, tomatoes. Tomorrow the camera, I'm Rabbi Yosef. Tomorrow the kav, the share of tomorrow is kav for legging. I'm Rabbi Yosef. No, I mean, how do I know this? The Tanya, Achel Gregoris, the Shilim tomorrow. Tavale bracha. Fellas, we're discussing if a, a czar, a non kohen, the shogeg eats truma. That lachiv is he has to pay a karen v'chaimish. So let's say he goes ahead. And he eats, uh, he eats Gregoris, he eats a fig, and he pays back dates. So the, the Bryce says he gets a bracha. Mashma dates are better than figs. Now, the one wants to know, Tiki Dummy, exactly what did he pay him? He lame the feed him if he went and caught, in other words, the Achamine Zuza, he ate a dollar's worth of Gregoris, of figs. The Kabbalah named Zuza, and he paid him a dollar's worth of dates. My Tabla bracha, what bracha is there? The Zuza Achel, the Zuka Kamashalim. In other words, there's no bracha over there. You, you're getting exactly what you. you El alav the He must have gone ahead, and he paid him, and he went ahead, and he paid him back volume. The ach will mean a griva de gregris. He ate a griva of gregris. He, he ate a, a griva of gregris. The shavia zuza, which was worth a zuz, kamashal and griva to tamarim. The shavia arba, and he paid him back a griva, a, 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 an amount of tamarim that's worth four. So Tavi Le Bracha, that what? He's paying him more. He says he's paying him more. So therefore, the Chaira, now, we said on the Yom and Aleph, we said Gregor's, the share of Gregor's was a cow. If you look, look at Rashi, the, um, uh, we didn't get there yet. We didn't get there yet. The Tani L'El, we, we said before that that uh, it's a cow of Gregor's. Okay, good. Says the Gemara. So therefore, Alma, what do you see? The Katani Tavle Bracha, Alma, Tamar, Madifa. Tamar, my better. Okay, let's see the Rashi now. Alma, so the Tamar, my better. What do you mean, Tamar, my better? It says Rashi. The Tanam, El, Gabi, Oni, Begoyrin, Kav, Gregoris, Vomarav, the Chaim, the Erev, the Kolch, Gain, Tamar, the Vade, Sagal, Bahachi. It's enough. In other words, if Gregoris is enough of a Kav, and Tamar, my better, so certainly Tamar, would, would be a Kav. Again, all we're proving is. You want to know the share of an Arab of dates, fellas? If a, you can go ahead, the share of an Arab is by figs is a kav. Certainly a kav of tomorrow will do the job because as we just ascertained from this brisa, that dates are more expensive than figs. So if kav does the job by figs, it'll do the job by dates. No, the dollar and a dollar. The question is, fellas, I'll give you a good example. You get a you get you get a dollar bill, or you get one of those Susan Anthony dollars. Which one is easier to get rid of? Obviously, the dollar bill. 
the Susan Anthony Dow, if you ever use it, you have to tell the person it's not a quarter. It's, it, you know? So therefore, if you have a dollar's worth of figs or a dollar's worth of dates, a dollar's worth of dates is still better. Why? Because it's just easier to, to use. So therefore, you have Mariah. It says, no, my cover like bracha is bracha the ochlim in a medium like cover slezmina. He ate something gregarious that people don't jump at buying. Come a shell in a medium cover slezmina. And he paid him back dates that people more, more, you know, it's, it's the same dollar. The question is, how are you going to be able to get it? How many people will buy dates quickly than they'll buy figs? So you have Mariah. Shasisa is a type of parched grain with shemen. We had this earlier in Mishnah the Shabbos and Mishnah the Brachis. Om Rav Acha by Pinchas, tray shigushi, two spoonfuls. That'll go ahead and do the job. Kisni, that's the sheer, that's roasted grain. What's the share of roasted grain for an Arab? Om Rabaya, tray buni de pumpadisa, two buni of pumpadisa. Good luck. Om Rabaya, Om Raliyein. My, my mother told me, again, Abayi never saw his mother, that's his nanny, Amali Aim, Hani Kasani, these parched grains, Malul Li, but it's roasted grain, it's good for the heart. It goes ahead and takes care of anxiety. If you have anxiety, if you have it seems to be good for that. Save you a lot of money in therapy, guys. For Amar Abaya, and says Abaya, Amali Aim, Hai Man De Isle, Chulsha De Liba, you have a weak heart. They say, Disra De Itma, Yamama De Dechra. Go take meat from the right thigh of a, of a ram, the lacy kibuye de reisa de nisan, and bring a charcoal of a, of, of a, some type of dung that was in nisan. Which, which animal? Rashi says, pea buck, it was just his cattle. The charcoal, you know, this peat moss. The peat moss, and they use buffalo chips. Buffalo chips? One second. Uh, tiny buffalo chips. I pass. Okay, Maisha? Pass. Oh, you pass also? Anybody? Silence is golden. Okay, anyway, they used to make fuel stuff out of stuff, right? And we fuel out of stuff. So you go ahead and take this stuff and you're going to use it to cook the right thigh of a, of a ram. If you do this, this is going to be excellent. Yeah, but that, that's good how to go ahead and, and defecate Nisan. The lack of kibuya if you don't have that, a better, a better option might be Lacey Sigine de Arvosa. Go ahead and bring the branch of a myrtle tree, Nechbia, and go ahead and burn it in that. Venechel, Finishti Basse, Chamra, Marka. Go ahead and drink some diluted wine, and that'll take care of all your problems. I wish you all a very, very good evening. Thank you for listening.